All right, guys, so next step, uh, I got everything masked off and um, I actually painted these once, but I had some real fine scratches that I could see in the paint and I didn't like it. So I took them out and I wet sanded everything again. Um, even though I had wet sanded the first time, I, I used my right grip. I mean, I've been painting for years, so I don't know how I got the scratches, but I didn't like it. I know it's going to see it in the paint. So I um, went ahead and wet sanded everything back down, dried it back off, deep waxed and degreased it, um, and laid my base coat. All right, so next we're going to do the pearls, and I'll come back when that's done. All right, so just a quick little video in between the middle of everything else. These are the pearls I'm using. Uh, this is a three-stage. Uh, this is the company we get them from out in Louisiana. I've used their stuff quite a bit. Um, always work really, really good. If you guys have seen this uh, pearl on uh, another bike I did, and everybody likes it. Uh, it's kind of like a green to blue to purple shift. Um, this isn't, this is a two to one, so it hadn't been mixed or reduced yet, but I'm just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So anyway, this is what's going to go on top of the black, and then we'll come back once we get it on there and see how it all looks. All right, guys. So uh, next stage, part three, maybe part four, however you want to say it. You see how we got our pearls in here? We got a nice good coat of pearls. Um, did that on them? Two, three layers, something like that. Shit, I can't keep up. But anyway, you can kind of see where it goes from, you know, blue to green to purple. And of course, once you put the clear on, it's just even more profound. But anyway, we're going to go to the next step and uh, be right back. Alright guys, so this is a little bit of the primer sealer that I'm putting down. Um, now, I'm putting primer sealer down before I do my next base because I've got some really dark colors here. Uh, along with this and some of the black on the um, plastic that I sanded through on the original 2K primer. So I want to do this uh, primer sealer to my next colors don't bleed through. And even though this is going to be white, of course I'm using a white primer sealer so it's going to take a lot less base to cover that up. But uh, this just giving you an idea of what it's looking like so far. So uh, we're going to keep rocking and rolling and I'll be back on the next video. All right, guys, here we go again. So I'm going to show you guys what I use and where I get it from. You guys have seen me use this company's uh, paint before. It's been on the last several bikes that I've used. Um, I've used it on um, a couple of golf carts that I never showed you guys and some other shit I was working on. But So this is your Kim. Um, this comes out from a company called the CodingStore.com out in Louisiana. I bought from them guys several times, never had a problem. I've used their sealers, I've used their 2K primers. Um, I only use high gloss, I mean, um, high solids clear. I don't use um, anything else. It's about 10 bucks more, but I love it. It flows well, never had a problem with it. So everything you see right here, which is a base, a quarter base, quarter clear, your reducer and your activator was 130 bucks. Uh, plus shipping. Now this is just a uh, a solid color clear. I mean a uh, base. Excuse me. This isn't a metallic or any you know two stage pearl, uh, anything like that. So they do have three stage stuff as well. But what I did was I have a particular color palette that I'm looking at um, and a color scheme that I'm going for. So I bought just white. Okay. Um, in the past, in, in fact, what I'm using, this is what they call super white, super bright white. I've got uh, a little bit of leftover of um, Mopar bright white paint code PW7 that I'm using uh, over a lot of my stuff first, and then I'm going over with this um, just because I don't want to use all of this. I want to have some leftover uh, just in case. So I'm getting rid of some of my old, old white first and then going over with that. But that's what I've got going on. This is the pearl that I'm using. Now this is a ghost pearl. Um, this packet I think was about 25 bucks. I've got two of them. All right, and that came from these guys right here, PaintWithPearl.com. Uh, really, really good stuff. I've used their pearls before too, and we're going to get into mixing that with some intercoat a little bit later to make this setup 
a three-stage setup. Um, I've already seen, well, you guys have already seen the other stuff I got painted, so we're going to get back to it. And as I go through the process, I'll keep you guys in the loop. All right, guys, uh, back real quick. So for the, those guys who are just curious, this stuff goes a two-to-one, by the way, not a four-to-one. Um, you kind of got all your overlap information right there. But well, if you know how to you know, lay clear, especially high solids, you want no problem with this. But typically, uh, just in case anybody wants to know, I'll use two quarts of clear on a motorcycle. That sounds like a lot, and it is, but that's typically because I'm doing the front fairing, the bags, the lids, the tank, all the small pieces. I'll probably have about three, maybe four coats of clear on that. I'll come back, uh, guide coat that, wet sand it down, and then I'll lay, I'll take another quart of this and I'll lay all that back down on top of it. So in the end, I'll have probably, you know, three or four good coats of clear that's going to be super smooth and wet sanded, polished. Um, so instead of just laying, you know, one quart of three or four coats and then block sanding that or wet sanding it, you know, and having really just maybe one or two at the end, I'll have three or four good solid coats of clear. Uh, but that's why it takes two quarts for me uh, on how I do my pieces. That's why they come out so, you know, super wet. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys in case you're interested. Um, CodingStore.com, really like this stuff, so uh, check it out if you can. Alright guys, one more quick snippet. Uh, on the left is the um, white paint from the coating store. This is what they call their super bright white. And then of course on the right is uh, Mopar or Chrysler PW7, which they call bright white. Um, so you got super bright white versus, you know, bright white. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, it probably looks better on the TV screen than it does in my phone screen. But uh, this one is definitely a little bit brighter of a tint than this one. Now, this would be good to lay as a, a first one or two coats and then go over it with that. I'll get away with that, no problem, to save some paint. But I just wanted to share that with you guys so you can see the little bit pigment difference between the two. Now this one hasn't been mixed yet, so it's still, you know, kind of thick. But this one has already been reduced, so it's ready to spray. But uh, anyway, just want to show that to you guys. Alright guys, welcome back. So next step, getting ready to do my first set of base on these pieces. I got enough primer sealer on here. I feel comfortable. It's not going to bleed through. Um, I did go ahead and break out my big, um, my big cup. Um, I usually have this little guy on here, but again, I don't paint a lot of big pieces, so I usually have uh, about 10 ounces in that cup, which is more than enough, but I've got a lot of these pieces I gotta paint. So I went ahead and mixed up a big batch of white, and I just cap this off when I'm done, save it for the next piece. But we're gonna get ready to uh, put uh, paint on these, some base, and uh, then we'll go to pearl and go to clear. So stay tuned. All right, guys, back at it again. So this is after two coats of this uh, white from um, CodingStore.com. I got really good coverage. I don't see any dark spots, so my primer sealer worked. Um, I'm going to do one more coat just to be sure. Hit any small spots, any tight corners, stuff like that. Uh, let this flash, and then we're going to get ready to um, do the pearl here in a little bit. So looking really, really awesome so far. We're going to keep at it. Alright guys, so uh, here we go. Our last bit of pearl. You kind of get an idea how nice this stuff really is. So, like I said, paintwithpearl.com. This is their, one of their ghost pearls. And uh, we're going to put this on this white base here in just a second. And I'll come back and uh, after we get one or two coats, I'll let you guys see what it looks like. And uh, go from there. All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, after three um, sets of pearls laid down, um, three passes, however you want to say it, um, this is what we're looking like. So we're going to get ready to uh, let this go ahead and flash off. See how that kind of looks. It's going to look freaking phenomenal once you get uh, clear coat on it. But... Uh, that's kind of what we're looking like right now. Um, look at that little fucker right there. So, even with all the filters in the booth, sometimes when you open the door, some little bastard just decides to 
fly in and land where he shouldn't. Um, he's right there on that vinyl, so he may come up with the vinyl. Let's hope so. Um, but anyway, shit happens. <laughs> That's why I hate really painting white to begin with, because every fucking thing shows up when you do white. But um, let's kind of give you an idea of what we're looking like. So um, come back to it in a little while. Alright guys, so we're almost done. So last step just before clear coat. And um, so everything's turned out really, really well. Um, this shit's just going to look fucking phenomenal in the sun. I'm really, really happy with this. But um, you can see your pearls here. If you look closely, you can see your color shift in your lettering. So, really, really awesome. Um, let's see this help you guys out. Really, really nice. Really, really happy. So, probably got about six or seven hours just in painting these lids today. So, really, really worth it. And uh, what time is it now? It is 9.45 at night right now. And I still got to do, you know, three or four coats of clear before I wrap it up for tonight. So, anyway, um, we'll pull these off here. Um, to be careful not to you know pull your paint with it shouldn't but still gotta pull them off real delicately um, clear coat them and I'll do another video all right guys welcome back so this is probably gonna be the last video for tonight probably make this the last one for these pieces until you see them on the bags but what you see here and you see how smooth that clear is there's only two coats of clear from that your cam high solids so, as you can see, I got a little bit of indentation between the graphics and the uh, clear. So I got to bury a lot of clear up here to fill that in. So this is going to be a, a long process, letting this stuff cure really good a day or two before I come back and lay some more clear. So this will probably be the last time I do this video for this piece, and like I said, until it's done. But you can kind of get an idea of, of how nice this clear really lays. Um, this is only a 2 to 1. This isn't a 2 to 1 and 1% and reducer or 10% reducer. Just straight 2 to 1. So this is how well this stuff flows. Now it's probably about 85 degrees outside. It's the middle of July so it is what it is. It is a little bit past 10 o'clock at night. Um, I do run a heater in my booth but not in these temperatures. It's, it's not really needed. But you can get a, a really, really... Let's see if I can get this to focus. You can see both those pearls, and they're just really, really nice. I honestly cannot wait to get this out into the sun tomorrow and see just how good this stuff goes. Got a little bitty nib or something right there. Yeah, it looks like a nib. So we'll wet sand that out. But once, shit, once I get a couple coats clear on this, hell, that may get buried too. But uh, really, really nice. Really, really glad uh, or uh, happy how these turned out. Usually I hate fucking painting white because you always get some piece of trash or something in it. And uh, so anyway, really, really happy about this. So awesome. So awesome. This shit's going to look really nice in the sun. I cannot wait to get this bike together and see how it really looks in the end. So anyway, I just want to show this to you guys. If you guys get any questions, you know the deal, right? Like it says, fuck what you heard. Act like you know. See you guys on the next video. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's Mike. So this is the piece we painted last night. Uh, one of two. And so as you can see... really really gorgeous I mean I don't even know if the Sun is catching this so really really nice got some more clear to put on it but um, really nice
really really happy on how this turned out and so I cannot wait to get this whole bike together but anyway just want to show this to you guys so you can see motto of the year fuck what you heard act like you know appreciate watching everything guys